Hello and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. I post quite regularly in a Facebook group called Drawing YouTube Artist Community. And back on Sunday, the artist behind the channel Lunaire Art posted looking for people interested in a Draw This In Your Style collab. I thought it would be fun to do, especially since she said it would be animal themed. And when I saw her painting, I loved it. Here it is on the screen now. So I'm doing it. If you're interested, I'll link directly to the thread in that Facebook group, or you can go ask Lunaire Art about it on Instagram if you're not on Facebook. I'll include her information as well. We're all just going to have fun redrawing her jellyfish in whatever style and medium we desire, and occasionally we'll come back and update our video descriptions and or pinned comments to reflect the most recent list of people who chose to participate. So if you like Lunaire Art's jellyfish, or mine, and you're interested in joining us in this little collab experiment, please do. Let's have some fun with this one. It looks like Lunaire Art's version of the jellyfish was done in watercolors. I haven't seen her video yet at this point, but as a fellow watercolor enthusiast, that's what it looks like to me. The galaxy technique is out and it's gorgeous. Knowing just based on the interaction she's got so far on the call for collaborators that I'll be among the first to upload, if not the first, I didn't want to also do the same medium, so I decided to use Copics. I picked up a light blue Prismacolor Color Race sketching pencil, roughed out a pair of jellyfish similar to hers in the same composition, added some bubbles similar to hers, picked out some markers that looked a lot like the color palette she used, and then I put her painting away and colored mine without looking back at her painting anymore until I was done. I wanted to make sure mine felt distinct, so I didn't want to be influenced by her color choices beyond the palette matching I had already done. I don't know much about jellyfish, so I have no idea what the different parts are called. I know I've probably missed some key details. I know they probably don't have an odd number of the thicker, squiggly tentacles. This is a stylized illustration based on a quick glance at another artist's stylized depiction of jellyfish that I know nothing about. <laughs> so if you're enthusiastic about marine biology, please don't come for me. As I got closer to finishing my coloring, Particularly as I was coloring the smaller blobs within the body on the two fish, I realized that although my color palette was based on Lunaire Art's color palette, I seem to have fallen back on the design choices I make when I'm doing my Pokemon mashups, because these are reminding me of Tentacle a lot. <laughs> like, if you asked me to illustrate Tentacle as a real jellyfish, this is probably what I would have come up with. I thought that was pretty funny because I hadn't consciously been doing that, but it makes a lot of sense to me that I would do it because I do a lot of Pokemon designs and I really do feel like that has influenced my illustration style. Do you think they look like slightly more realistic tentacle to you? Let me know in the comments down below. By the way, there always seems to be someone wanting to know exactly what supplies were used in videos like this. So, as I mentioned, these were all Copic markers and I sketched with a Prismacolor Call Erase. The pens were a light grey Unipin fineliner, which I used at the beginning to preserve the lines I wanted to keep from the sketch but not really show through in the final image, and a pair of black Copic multi-liners at the end to add more intentional line art. Fine details were lined with the 0.01mm nib, and the bodies and bubbles were outlined with the 0.1mm. The white details were added using a Sakura Jelly Roll white gel pen in the 1mm bold nib. The paper is Strathmore 500 series Bristol. I also wanted to mention, for the sake of my viewers who've been watching my other videos lately, that no, no, my April and May Scrawler boxes have not come in yet. I've reached out to Scrawler Box to ask when's the point we worry about these boxes not showing up in Canada, given the state of the world right now, and I have not heard back. I sent that query a week ago, and Instagram messages shows they've seen it, but no response. They left me on red! <laughs> but no, I understand. Postal systems all over the world are pretty overwhelmed right now. I completely expect that both my April and May boxes will spontaneously arrive in my mailbox at the same time, so I want to know what you guys think I should do about filming and uploading those on my channel. You've already seen me recreate them in No Box Art Box videos, so you've already seen the essence of the boxes and their prompts done separately. The hype for the April box, at the very least, if not both the April and May boxes, is gone. Plenty of big channels and big Instagram accounts living in places that get these boxes faster have already done them. Should I still give these boxes their own separate videos when they get here, or should I do them together? 
I don't think I would be able to do a piece with the supplies from both boxes combined. Watercolor markers and charcoal probably don't mix very well, but I could unbox both, show an extended test play with the watercolor markers, and then just do the charcoal boxes prompt. I'm still planning to draw Vanessa Nakate to pair with the one I already did of Greta Thunberg in the no box art box version. But anyway, I really enjoyed doing these jellyfish as a short notice collab experiment. I wasn't quite sure yet what I wanted to upload this week anyway, and it sounded like a cool idea. I also really enjoyed drawing an animal I don't normally gravitate towards. Turns out I enjoy painting jellyfish. Maybe I should draw them again, but from photo reference next time so they're a little more correct than today's interpretation. Be sure to check out Lunaire Art's channel and her video for this piece, and check out the Facebook group thread or message her on Instagram if you want to join in on this. I will definitely come back and add in other videos that do this in the description as I see them come up. Also, let me know if you guys would be interested in doing this type of spontaneous draw this in your style collab based on something I draw, and maybe we can make that happen soon. If nothing else inspires me to get a different piece done as soon as I can, then Thursday's video is probably going to be a Nobox art box with a twist, because I've been sent the exact contents of a sketch box I didn't get, and they're sitting on my shelf above my desk calling my name. Also, don't forget that this Friday is Art Addicts Alliance Day, so there will be a bonus video this Friday, and our theme this month is Conspiracy Theories. Go ahead and leave your guesses down below on what I'll be drawing. If you're looking for more to watch right now, I've got some suggestions up on the left side of the screen, or if you're interested in hearing me talk about writing and bookish topics, you can check out my new booktube channel, The Westvale Archives, on the right. I upload art content twice a week at minimum, every Tuesday and Thursday, and if you like living life creatively, whatever that means to you, I'd love to have you along for the ride. Bye guys!